With the current season coming to a close, what can we look forward to in the weeks to come? Well, spoiler alert, not too much. While there's not very many anime I'm planning to watch next season, there are a few that really excite me. But let's leave the best till last and start all the way here at the bottom. Okay, so first up, a few specials. Uh, the only notable ones being these two, My Hero Academia and Sakamoto Desuka, which, I mean, I'll watch them, I guess. Um, as for the movies, which don't really count since it takes like half a year until they're finally released on DVD, but whatever. Um, I'm hoping Kagaru Days is well done because, you know, I enjoyed the anime series, but it wasn't enough, and I really like the music. Um, what the hell is this crap, man? Compilation films? Who even watches this? Ugh. Um, so on to the OVAs. Uh, Garuko is getting another episode, which is nice. Oh, yes! I mean, um, <clears throat> uh, B Bikini Warriors? Uh, I have no idea what that anime is about. I've never seen it. <clears throat> October 2016. October 2016. Um, let me just... Okay, anyway. Um, Kubikiri Cycle. Uh, this seems pretty nice. I mean, Shaft is making it, so you know it's gonna at least look good. But really, after watching the PV, it just looks a bit too similar to Shaft's other works. Like, whenever Shaft makes an adaptation, rather than bringing out the unique identity of the source material, it just kind of looks this like the same shit all over again. Plus, it looks like it's going to be a harem. So yeah, my excitement just kind of halved right there. Arjun OVA. Always good for more Arjun. Um, Alright, next, the continuing anime. Days, I'm really enjoying this so far. I mean, it's a little bit of bullshit and how they push the whole anyone can become great with enough hard work because let's be real, Tsukishi ain't good at shit. Also his face kind of annoys me. There should also be Sosei no Omyoji here, which I will reluctantly continue to watch. I guess I'll have to buy more band-aids for all the cuts I'm getting from this edgy as fuck anime. Dragon Ball Super should also be here and... I mean, it's really ramping up. If you've seen DBZ, you should watch Super. It's surprisingly pretty decent and getting better with every episode. Uh, next, Nyambo. Is this like a sequel to Bananya? I mean, I ain't complaining. That shit was clean. I'll probably watch this just for the fact that it's based on Dumbo, which is a character from Yotsubato, which is one of my favorite mangas. There's also the second season of Crane Game Girls, Sure, I guess. I'm surprised it did well enough for a sequel. Um, there's cute girls doing ping pong. Sorry, but no thanks. I'm done with the whole cute girl thing. Uh, oh boy. Watch out, Sosei no Omyoji. A new anime may be able to rival your edginess. Bloodivores. It's like carnivores, except with blood. Oh, so good. Oh my god, did I... I almost missed this. What the f- What? What is this? What is wrong with their faces? It looks so gay. Oh wait, it is. It is gay. Man, these isosceles triangle ass faces just really scare me, man. They scare me. Um, some more idol shit. I mean, there's always an idol anime in every season and I'm, I'm just kind of tired of that. Oh yes, Take You 8, where were you last season? I missed you, Take You, so, so much. Uh, the one girls doing sports anime that I actually enjoy. And they hardly ever actually play sport. They usually just fuck around, which is probably a good thing, let's be honest. Uh, there's the second season of Maho Shoujo Nante Moi Deskara. I mean, the first one was pretty alright. Short and sweet, I can dig it. The second season of Junisai. I know I complained about the first season in my review, but man, the completionist in me just has to keep watching it, and I'll admit, even I'm a bit interested in how things will pan out. He is hoping to a larger focus on the side characters, cause really, the main couple can go die in a hole for all I care. Cute girls riding bikes? I swear we just had cute girls on motorcycles last season. Why, why is this? getting like so popular recently I don't I really don't get it 
Also, game development. There's a lot of this shit going around recently, and I know there's probably a bunch of weebs out there dreaming about making their own video games, which is totally fine by me. But using cute little girls just for, like, otaku bait, it's kind of a bit sad, you know? Um, moving on, um, Brave Witches, really? Do I have to? I, I'm so done with Strike Witches, ugh. Um, oh, Funeo Amu. This is a strange one that caught my eye. It talks about the publication of dictionaries, which intrigues me, but to be honest, any anime that doesn't have a bunch of 10 year olds on the front cover automatically gets a few points in my book. Just look at his sad adult face. Now that's a main character I can get behind. Udon no Kuni no Kiniro Kimari. This is another interesting one. It's about a guy who meets a little boy with a fantastical imagination. I've always loved these older guy with a child stories like Usagi Drop, Amama to Inazuma, and Hinamatsuri to name a few. So I'm, I'm excited for this one. Oh boy, reverse harems. Oh baby, look at those exclamation marks, man. I love me some exclamation marks. Oh, look. So, so colourful. I think I'll watch whatever this nun bucker is, just because it's colourful. Uh, please don't be yaoi. Please don't be yaoi. Please don't be yaoi. Oh god, it's gonna be yaoi, isn't it? So is this like prison school super ultra great delicious wonderfully gay version? And I'm using gay in both meanings, because it literally looks happy as fuck. Rugby, ice skating, Ugh, I'm done with the whole sports anime thing. I mean, days is enough sports for me, so I think I'll pass on these things. Season 5 of Natsume Yujincho? Damn. Just as I was about to finally finish watching the first four seasons and put it away in the completed category, they have to come out with this. Ah oh well, at least it's a pretty good anime. Occult Semicolon 9. Are all of these semicolon anime like part of the same thing as Steinsgate? Because if they are, I might have to try some of them. The premise though seems pretty generic about like a group of people that do shit. Um, but I mean, I guess I might try it out. Ugh, no comment, no comment. Oh, and now we're finally up to the top. Bungo Stray Dogs. The first season was pretty good. I like the way they managed to blend the comedy with the more serious stuff. Or really, in this case, the serious stuff with the comedy, because it was basically a lot of a lot of comedy. Let's be real. And the action was pretty well done as well. I'm looking forward to how these new characters pan out. And then we finally get to literally the only anime I'm legitimately hyped for. Arjun season two hype. Holy shit, it's felt like ages since the first season, and I just want more of Sato, man. I'm just so addicted to his character. One of the best villains, by far, in anime I've ever seen. Almost to the point that I want him to succeed. No, scrap that, I do want him to succeed. But I also want Tosaki x Izumi to succeed, and Kai, my boy, to make a comeback after strangely disappearing last season. Man, Ajin is just one anime where you have no idea what's gonna happen, and no matter what happens, it's gonna be amazing. I don't care who wins, I just wanna see more of this anime. For those of you who have never watched the first season, um, watch it? The 3D animation puts people off, but really it's not too bad, you get used to it after a little while. And it actually makes some of the fights look better than they would without it. Just watch it, and join me in the hype train for Ajin man, I'm hyped to the power of hype squared factorial. That's how hyped I am. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the upcoming fall 2016 season of anime. Tell me yours in the comments below and complain about any anime I missed because there are always a few good ones that go unnoticed. Anyway, bye bye. スーパーウルトラグレートテリシャスワンダフルやばい。